Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Enoch and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to generate PDF invoices, packaging slips for dispatch, how to send those invoices to your customers and also show you a way of how they can download those invoices from their My Account section. So when you take a look, for example, when a customer logs into your website and I've showed you guys how to create this website in the previous tutorial. I'm going to link it in the description in case you're interested. So customers can easily print out their invoices on their end or download the invoices. So for example, when someone clicks to download invoice, they can save the invoice to their computer and they can open it up and an invoice would look like this. Okay. Then in the edit order section, you'd find that it's also possible with this plugin to generate invoices, print them and download them, to print parking slips, to print out delivery notes, to print out shipping labels and dispatch labels for all your orders. And when the order is complete, the customer will receive an email from your website telling them that their order is complete and within that email, a PDF invoice would be attached to their order. So someone can easily open it up and it will look like this. So in case you're interested in this tutorial, please watch it through and follow step by step. So let's get started. So now the very first thing we are going to do is to scroll down and come to plugins then click on a new plugin. Then you're going to search for um, right here. You're going to search for WooCommerce. PDF and what you're gonna do is that we're gonna install this WooCommerce PDF invoices uh, by WebToffee so it has about 50,000 active installations and click install now and once it's installed uh, click on activate and once you've done uh, activating it uh, you're gonna see invoice and packaging on your left hand menu so click on invoice and packaging then you're gonna add your shop details for example mine is called wonder wanderlust maybe uh, you fill in um, your address the store address um, the country the city where it's in then you can also add a phone number for example if this is my phone number then you can also add your own logo so under media library i should have some logos right here no, I will upload one logo and there we go. I've uploaded my logo. So I'm going to click on select. Then once everything is filled out correctly, I'm going to click on next and it's going to take me to step two. So uh, it's going to ask me to choose emails for invoice attachment. So I only want it when the order is completed and I'll select completed. Uh, you can attach them to these um, any other options but i think completed would be the best then click on next you're gonna fill in um under step three so a prefix is like let's say your shop is called amazon and you want a prefix on your um invoice numbers okay so it can be maybe am or something yeah i think you guys get the idea then the length of the Invoice number, you can set it to five, you can set it to six, depending on how big or how small you want um, the invoice to be. So I think I'm going to change this to like, if this is wordless, maybe I would use like WD, something like that. Then you can also add a suffix, but this will appear the, at the end. Yeah. So you get a preview of how everything is looking. Okay. So I'm going to remove this. Then I'm going to click on finish setup okay so it's gonna say invoice setup successful and i'm gonna close that so in the free version that we're using you can generate um invoices parking slips uh shipping labels i mean dispatch labels um and shipping labels and also delivery notes okay in some more advanced stuff but i think the free ones are good enough for you to get started so now once everything is done let's say you have an order so to check on your orders maybe let me place an order right now on the store quickly
So now when I scroll down um, to this order right here, on the right hand side, you will see that under invoice and parking, we can generate or print an invoice. For example, if I'm to download an invoice right here for this order, it's going to open up just like that. Ping it, then open it up in a new tab. So this is how the invoice is looking, guys. So we have a, QR, uh, a barcode right here, the store address, yeah, then the client um, billing address, then the invoice number, the order date, and the payment method, plus all the products that were that were bought by this specific customer. Yeah. So you can also um, print out, um, for example, packaging slip if an order is going to be, you know, like. Um, dispatched yeah so you can always do that and this is how the parking slip looks like um the address of my store uh the client billing uh information then the client shipping address okay and this is the packaging slip so there are a lot there are a lot of other options for example you have delivery notes yeah if you want to print those and add them to the client order or something you can easily do that in case you want to print out um sort of dispatch labels you can also and this is how it will be looking okay so now when a customer for example goes to their my account section let me go to my account section right here then if i happen to go to my orders under orders I will see that um, a class, a client or a customer will be able to download or print their own invoices. Okay. So for example, this is the recent order that I've just placed for four items. So if I click on download invoice, I'll be able to get the same invoice that is in my back end. Okay. So if I'm dropping this up still in a new tab, this is how it's going to look like for the customer okay so when i open up my email that has been sent to me from woocommerce to show me that the order is complete when i scroll down you realize that an invoice has been attached with all the stuff that i've bought so all these are the products that i've paid for and this is the invoice for the products so now one last thing we need to look at is the settings for the plugin so when you come under invoice and um, parking you can click on general settings and you can walk through the settings of the parking slip invoice shipping labels dispatch labels and delivery notes so what you can do is you can check out the general sorry the invoice settings and you can customize a few things here for example you can copy or attach uh, the invoice to the admin email. Um, you can enable um, your customers to be able to download the um, invoices from their account section and their account dashboard, as I just showed you. Also, you can disable it or enable it to be sent to the email okay, of the customer. So now you can also upload a custom logo for the invoice. Yeah. If you'd be interested in that you can always do that okay then you can also customize the invoice there are a few customizations here for example you can change the title right here the title color or invoice maybe to um, a different maybe a store maybe one last invoice you can change this to any color that you prefer then you can remove order numbers you can add them back you can remove invoice dates and add them back uh, you can add customer notes or remove them so customer notes will be displayed at the footer right here yeah so you can enable everything and disable them yeah by clicking on these toggles okay so now there are some other pro elements that are added to the bottom of these settings for example you have um a payment stamp right here so you can enable that on or off yeah so and once you're done remember to always click, click save okay so now i'm gonna jump out of this by clicking back then i'll go back once again and then i'll be still in the settings so under the general settings 
um so you can set up your company details i actually misspelled this so this is the company email for example you can change your logo you can customize the footer maybe you can say something like you can say something like for example if i paste in um products must be inspected upon the day blah 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 yeah so you can include this like in your footer section yeah and this will appear on every invoice on the footer okay so once you're done always remember to update these settings yeah and i think that's all i had for you guys so in case you need to learn more commerce tutorials i have some playlists in my channel that you can check out and i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching